this video is not necessarily a tutorial what I'm really just wanting to do is just show you guys the large body work that's been happening with Linux um, since its inception probably for about you know it's 15 years old now and it's so so many people around the globe have put in a lot of hard work so that individuals like myself can have completely functional uh, operating system and tons of free software to operate in those systems. So basically what I'm at, I'm at Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia um, website and I'm just going to show you a very one very interesting diagram and view of all the Linux distros. So list of Linux That's okay. Distributions. I'm not the best typist, but I do know uh, pretty much what I'm trying to get to. And I don't have the fastest machine, but that's okay too, because I like the fact that I can do a lot with the pretty much an older machine. You know, a much slower, much older machine. So, we're here at the li list of Linux distro pages, and I just want to uh, scroll around a little bit just to let you see. But the main thing that I'm interested in is going to be this map right here on the right. Um, it's a very good diagram. And they, you know, they basically have just about every major fork or every major distribution of Linux and all the little distributions that came off of Linux. Um, on this page right here I thought that was unique just about every single body of work that has been made uh, have, have been uh, distribution have been collected and redistributed or re redesigned off of Linus, Linus Traval's work is, is mentioned right here on this page and as you see it's a pretty extensive page and it's probably growing daily because you know the last time you know they got even a little single forks. Now, if you just into a specific uh, style or a specific brand or a specific uh, fork, is a distribution or a big, a major distribution like Debian, Slack, Slackware, SUSE. Um, and so, my main fork that I use is Ubuntu, which is based on Debian. And as we come down here to the bottom of the page, you see there is over a hundred different distributions or just resources talking about this this page. And I thought I thought that was immense. But we're gonna go back up, and I just want to go to this this fork, this this diagram, and just show you how cool it is. And what what I thought was kind of neat is, and whoever put the work in on this really put in some nice work. So now we're going to let this timeline and, and fork diagram and <laughs> uh, what do you want to say, line graph, however you want to call this, this immensive <laughs> piece of work, um, load up. And it gets, you know, it looks like, oh, this isn't much of nothing, and, but it gets extremely, very detailed. This is very, very super resourceful um, way to learn about as many different possible Linux distros, the major uh, forks in the distros and everything of that nature and uh, and what, what all they're based off of and everything and just see how people have put in their work and the different types of distro. Now I'm not going to go too far past Debian even though I work with, I started out in, in RPM and Fedora using uh, Yum and all that stuff. And, and those, that package manager to me was, was a, a early headache, you know, and 
somewhat discouraging and kept me dual booting for a while. But once I got started using Ubuntu, it wasn't long after that that um, I basically let Windows go and start, you know, no more than having it in a virtual uh, virtual system. I, that's it. I just I just ran it virtually. I didn't use I, I, all of my machines that I have at my at my home network are older machines, <laughs> and you know um, they have a, a a version of Linux running on. So basically, this is the family of Linux that I use, and it's Ubuntu. And in here, you see all the different different ports that branch out, and somewhere in here, there should be Lubuntu. And this is this is the guy that I use, and if you can come here and click on the names, and you see how it all all branches out. Um, this this is the guy that I found that was based on the uh, L D X E um, L X D um, L X D E um, desktop, and I thought that was just you know it's, it's one of the best desktops that I've I've known. I like GNOME. I like KDE. I'm not really too much of a hater of things, so everybody work, anybody that's put in some work um, in these various open source projects to make these things where people can, like myself, can use free and open source available software and be very productive with it. I have nothing bad to say, you know, about their effort because that's their effort. My personal preference, though, is always having something nice and light and clean, and one of the cleanest and lightest desktops right now. It, it's it's room for improvement, and hopefully one day that's what I do. I'll be able to put in room some room for improvement, put in some work, and make a contribution for improvement. But for by far, this is one of the cleaner cleaner desktops, and this is what I I'm per currently using is LXDE, and um, so. We can go here to this website as well, and and that's basically all I really wanted to talk about. Is just go out there and look at all the different ports, look at all the different distributions, look at all the different um, work, look at everything at possible, and then you will see. You will definitely see. So this is what I'm using is lightweight X11 desktop environment. Is it? Everything that is right here on this page, and 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 that standby, the extremely fast, energy saving desktop. I'm telling you, I am running on a clunker right now, and I can do a lot, of, a lot of creative things. I'm creating this, this video with another open source project, this simple screen recorder, and it seems to be, you know, after you figure out getting it work, it works good. So maybe one day I'll be talking about that, how I got this working as well. But for right now. Thank you, and I hope I can do something more. I can help somebody out in the future. I hope it, it all works well for you. Be blessed. I am.